So I can't just teach every year eight kid from the year eight maths book. Because some of them are going to be heaps below and some are going to be heaps above. Learning happens when I focus it at the point of need. If the work is too easy for the kids, boredom. Absolute boredom. We all know what happens when kids are bored. Generally not the behaviour that we want as classroom teachers. On the other hand, if the work is too hard, what it leads to is anxiety. We all want to be, I'd argue every kid wants to be a successful learner. Every single kid I have ever taught wants to be successful. We all want to feel good about ourselves, that we're making sense of the world, that we're able to do things the same as other kids can. If the work is too hard for me, what the brain does is give up, really, because I cannot make sense of what's being presented. That anxiety can show itself then, as we all know, in a number of ways. It can be withdrawal. I'm just not going to participate in this. It can be a protective behaviour like, I'm just not going to do the work. Because in fact, what I can then say is, it's not that I'm dumb, I didn't try. Which again is a protective behaviour, which you can't blame anyone for doing. Or I act up, really. Anything to take the attention off the fact that I can't actually do this work. So what does it mean for teachers? What it means is I have to know the developmental continuum for the subjects that I'm teaching. So, if I, and sorry, just a quote from um, Full and Hill and Cravola, I'll just do that and then I'll jump on. So critical. So yes, we do have to understand our data. As school leaders, we want to look at our data, we want to look at what's happening. But as a teacher, I must know where those kids are up to. I must know if I look, um, sorry, I'll just jump back because I'm going to miss some slides. I must know what are the standards for English. Not just if I'm teaching year six, what's the level four standard that I'm trying to get the kids to. I have to know what that whole continuum of standards is actually looking like. Particularly, I'm going to argue, in literacy and numeracy. Literacy and numeracy, we all know, are foundational learning. I have to know where kids are up to. So how do I find out where they're up to? There's lots of ways I can do it. I can look at the information the teacher wrote on the report the year before as a very broad starting point. Many of you will be doing different testing and so on. But the trick with the data, I think, is not just that I'm analysing the data, I am using it to focus instruction. Because if all I'm doing is analysing data without thinking about what does this mean for this kid in this classroom and what I've got to do with them tomorrow, there's not much point in analysing the data. So I've got to have a clear idea of what literacy development looks like for a child. What are the stages of development that they go through? And not only typical development in year three, what does it look like before that and after that? And then once I've worked out where a kid's up to, and there are lots of different tools around. You'll be using many different ones. I guess I also see that the new on-demand testing is actually a great tool that is easily accessible to every school. To actually, for a teacher, for a snapshot to say, where is this kid up to? Yeah. So, and you've got the adaptive testing, you've got the progress testing, 
what do I do first, what do I do second. But it is about the focusing of the instruction. But with that deep disciplinary knowledge about what the continuum of learning looks like and then what are the teaching strategies I need to use, what are the best teaching strategies I can use to move forward. And I think that's what we've tried to do on the developmental continua. To really say from the evidence, here are the most effective strategies to move a kid from this point to that point. So again, as I say, it's not only about the data, it's how I'm using the data for every teacher to inform their instruction and to think about what they're, what they're actually doing.